Looking for a nice winter getaway or a day trip? Give Algonquin Provincial Park a try. It's beautiful year round, but certainly in the winter. Check it out. Hey everyone, so today is a slightly different video. It's not a typical camping video. We uh, booked a cottage near Algonquin Provincial Park, but definitely going there for the day, so check it out. This was our home for the weekend. It's Oxtong Lake Cottages, and I'm probably mispronouncing this. It's located about 15 minutes from the west gate of Algonquin Provincial Park. The link to this cottage resort is in the description. The cottages are pretty basic, but it really gives you everything you need. You have your bedrooms, fireplace, TV, um, so definitely everything you need. This video is not sponsored, we just like this cottage resort. Just south of the park there are the rapids, make sure you either walk in or have a 4x4 because the roads are not maintained in the winter. Five minutes northeast of the cottage resort is Ragged Falls. There is no parking in the winter. Uh, we did not go here, but here's a photo from the summer. Now the main attraction for us is Algonquin Provincial Park. Even though Huntsville and Arrowhead are not too far either, so that's definitely an option as well. We typically like to go to Algonquin. Make sure you get your vehicle permit either at the east or the west gate. One trail to definitely check out is the Algonquin Logging Museum Trail. It's about a 1.3 kilometer trail and it's very easily accessible. Check with the park staff first, but we got permission to be able to feed the birds and at the Logging Museum there's lots of chickadees that eat right out of your hand. Also, don't be surprised, they may just land right on your head. These birds are crazy. Look at them. The nice part about this trail is it guides you through the history of logging in Algonquin Provincial Park. definitely recommend this trail no matter the time of year it's always a great trail to do when you're here definitely visit the visitor center it's one of if not the best visitor center of all the provincial parks it is open during the pandemic there are some limit restrictions in place but typically it's not very busy at all in the winter go to the back of the visitor center there's a nice lookout point uh, overlooking the valley here you can spot multiple types of birds as well Go check out the exhibits. Um, it shows the wildlife in the park as well as the history of the park. If 
if you need internet access but you don't want to use your phone data or you don't have phone data there is free wi-fi another spot we like to go is opiongo road it's partially plowed and you can only go so far in the winter but at the end where the fence is you can park your vehicle and there is a lot of wildlife whether it is gray jays pine martins uh, foxes they can all be found here even just driving on highway 60 through the park is is nice there are what i like to call ice waterfalls everywhere you can see the lakes there's nice views everywhere if you'd like to go camping in the winter you certainly can at mio lake you can either bring your trailer bring your tent or rent a yurt as you can see mio lake has beautiful waterfront sites that are available year round so if you're interested in winter camping definitely give it a try Bring your skates if you're going here as there is a skating rink. Another good trail to do in the winter is the Lookout Trail. Parking may be tough depending whether the parking lot is plowed or not, but it's absolutely worth it because the view is beautiful. So this is Algonquin Park. Um, this is our last trip in 2021. Definitely recommend it if you're looking for a day trip or weekend getaway. There's lots of options. You can either go camping at Mew Lake or rent a cottage like we did. It's on the highway, Highway 60 specifically. Keep an eye open for moose. There are pretty common occurrences to see there. Go check out the visitor center. It's the best visitor center in all of Ontario, in my opinion. Just enjoy your stay. Um, this is the last episode of 2021. Starting to book for our camping trips in 2022. So if you'd like to see any particular campgrounds or provincial parks leave it in the comments below further to that if you want to see more videos like this definitely like and subscribe to this channel it really helps the youtube algorithm if you don't like just hit that like button twice and we're good to go there just go check out this video here and thanks for watching